a very beautiful morning energetic noon and a beautiful evening to all the viewers and our lovely audience who is watching our talk show which inspires millions by none other than business bar academy netherlands today we have a very beautiful international guest who is multi talented versatile and i must say combination of brain with beauty or you can say beauty with brain priya chaudhry from country pakistan she is motivated and multi talented you can say person great personality she is anchor international public speaker life coach islamic and research scholar she is ceo founder and a company named team via global private limited which is doing wonders and it is established in 2016 she is founder of uh, fight for life ceo tv digital agency founder td tourism club and during past years she served as an anchor person in the following news channels like ptv news ptv home and rose news so i welcome dia once again to our talk show a very you can say good evening from india uh, welcome dia thank you so much dr supriya for my, uh, from inviting me and um, uh, miss uh, veronica uh, such a nice lady being your guest seems pleasant to me according to my opinion journey and uh, life story starts with the birth of a person with time he passes through different phases so share to uh, my different uh, story okay so before i take a deep dive uh, let me ask you one question which is coming in my mind you're such a great personality at such a uh, young age so we all would like to know about your life journey please tell us about your life journey uh, again thank you so much all of you for your team first of all uh, childhood which is almost based on observation of uh, everything without judgment in second phase he picks some knowledge about right or wrong and uh, third phase is uh, which i will uh, say is practical phase he decided to uh, choose a path and start working to achieve his goals i spent my childhood in a uh, backward area uh, in second phase i was in school at that time Uh, i was young enough to feel and understand about some right and wrong things i was a very sensitive child i was amazed to read a story in my textbook which was about truthfulness of a sufi saint chef abdul qadir jilani rahmatullah alai i don't know why but that story awakened me spiritually i was driven by emotions of uh, independence kindness and truth i decided to be independent and also to work for welfare of mankind crossing a lot of hurdles of reached my destination i got many Uh, i got my first job as an rj in a radio station later on i worked as an anchor person in uh, different uh, tv channels uh, like ptv rose tv lahore tv such news and uh, etc food drive free medical camp cloth distribution and motivational lectures were on my welfare side I was highly inspired by business woman Lady Khadija Al Kubra, Radhi Allahu Taala Naha, and had thought to own a business, which I accomplished after some years of struggle with the help of Al Almighty. Now I am CEO of Kim Dia Global Private Limited, 
this is all about my life story. Great, great journey. Dia, I must say a very inspiring and motivational journey. You have told about yourself, how we have raised, how we have done. So all the viewers who are watching us today live, they must be getting a lot of inspiration. And you have been a thousand for thousands of many and many inspirational things you have set up today. So thank you so much for this lovely journey. And my next question, which is not only my question, everybody wants to know. You have a great company, a team via Global Private Limited. So can you please just brief it about what is all about? Our team via Global Private Limited contains four type of uh, departments. Uh, first, tourism club, second, uh, marketing agency, and third is live talk, and fourth is uh, uh, different uh, awareness activities. So I explained tourism department, team the tourism club work to promote peaceful tourism all over the globe by providing traveling opportunities to interested people. And second is digital agency. This department support other companies by providing marketing uh, and um, services on all social media platform. And third is Global Welfare Society. And uh, this uh, project and department is close to my heart. This society work to uh, fight against hunger and poverty in different areas by giving food, drive packages, free education, medical camp, and uh, uh, camps to needy and poor people. And fourth is, uh, global live talk. This department conducts online conferences, seminars, award shows, and awareness activities on different areas, also on social media, to promote peaceful approach in the society between different religions. Continue them all, Team Dia Global Private Limited is working for the betterment and uh, development of mankind without any discrimination in its own style. Very nice thoughts you company is doing and whatever you are telling about your company, hunger, poverty, how you people are making, how you are making your own roads. That's most important there. So hats off to you for your great work and I wish you all the best for your company to grow up and to help people across the globe, which you are doing across a great world. Now, Thank you, Dr. now my uh, next question I would like to ask is, you have achieved everything in your life because when I see your company, when I'm listening to you, and even I have a research about your company that is team via Global Private Limited. It's, it's doing a fantastic job. But if I ask you, what is your biggest achievement of your life? Then what would be your answer? Uh, you know, Dr. Sophia, life is full of opportunities and experiences. Everyone is independent of choosing right or wrong way. Uh, from the teachings of Lord Ali bin Abi Talib anha, who was man of ultimate wisdom, I have learned that always closing uh, and choosing the right path and struggling on it. Until that is the biggest achievement for anyone. I have done everything to make a story and strong bound with my creator. And always try to be honest with him. My inner self is fully satisfied that I have chosen a right path. I am not only working to uh, build my own character, but also trying to help other people of earth in choosing right path and living a healthy life. Uh, yeah, I will say only one thing that when I'm listening to you, your right path, you're choosing the best path. And not only you are doing for 
yourself, but you are contributing for the society. So that really a great in itself, which you have done till now. And I must uh, appreciate your all contributions, your all hard work, dedication for your achievements, which you have accomplished at such an early age. So it is once again, a milestone, a milepost in your career. We, are, uh, we all know about the challenges, all hurdles of the life, and everyone uh, face that. Some will knock down, some will knee down, and some will just give up in their life. But when I see you as a strong woman, strong entrepreneur, what challenges you faced and how you have tackled? So please enlighten us that. As I have told you that I was born in backward area, most of people were against female education and independence. Calmly and quietly, I bared all the conditions and situations. Later on, many people criticized my thoughts of being kind and true. Actually, I found most of people around the world and all the uh, people were non-practical. You know, nowadays, every field is full of hypocrisy and political. Facing all the negativities and bearing a lot of losses. I continued my struggle to achieve my goals. All of this is done by, by the help of Allah Almighty and teachings of Holy Prophet, peace be upon him. My belief system always posed to me, think if learned on the right path, I can never be defeated. That's really great. And what a beautiful message you have given that if you are on right path, everything will be happening good and you will achieve your dream sooner or later, but it will happen. So we are, I must say, the message which I wanted to ask in later for our viewers, you have given us in every question. And I will say only one thing, the golden nuggets in each and every answer I can find, which is too motivating for everyone to move on in their life. And we all are inspired by your lovely journey. Okay. So how you started your careers? Uh, can you give me such uh, some uh, light? Can you throw some light on it? How, how you started? Uh, my career started from a, a local radio station when I was only 15 years old. Working as an RJ was very fascinating for me. I decided to choose media field because spreading my uh, positivity thoughts in society was very charming and motivated. After something I moved, after some time I moved to Islamabad, capital city of uh, Pakistan. I served as an RJ and anchor person in different radio and TV channels. Yes, you can go on. Uh, for at least uh, 10 to 13 years, I enjoyed every moment of my struggle, whether it was pleasant or hard. In 2016, I succeeded to establish my own company in my whole career on. One thing I learned that if you are determined to achieve your goal, one day you will fulfill your desire. Wow, that's uh, brilliant, I will say, Dia. Uh, what are the messages you are giving in each and every your answer? I mean, uh, leave about the viewers. I am getting so much inspired. So thanks to you for your career, which you have started, how you have started your career. That really, really an awesome job. And besides so many hurdles, so many challenges you have across that really again uh, you can say a big achievement in itself and every challenge you can say a hidden opportunity is there 
which Dia has taken. And I will say to all my viewers who are watching us live today that she is a woman of a strong entrepreneurship. She is an independent woman. She is a strong woman who has taken this journey forward. Dia, I know you have a less time since you have to go for another conference, but still, I want to listen to you at least for an hour and you don't have a time. So my last but not the least question, what message you want to deliver or render to our audience? And we all are waiting for that. I want to say that no matter from which religion you belong, always has to yourself and your creator. Be on right path and have strong belief in your God. Don't hesitate to serve other people. It will empower you and help you to reach your destination. Be positive, be happy, and stay peaceful. I hope together we can achieve more. Wow, yes, together we can achieve. And your lovely message, which you have said about be positive, stay positive. I reciprocate the same, Ms. Dia. And thank you so much for this beautiful, one of the beautiful talk show, which I have watched till now. So once again, thank you so much for giving such a beautiful time and taking out your, from your precious time to our talk show. And uh, our uh, uh, Veronica Saban is here. Uh, would you like to speak, uh, Veronica? Uh, good afternoon to you both, and I'm honored to having you here, uh, dear Dia Shudari. I want to thank you personally for the honor and choosing me as a world member, um, as a world peace member for my project. Uh, first of all, so thank you so much. Thank you for this amazing and productive collaboration. Um, what surprised me very well is that you asked me some information, but I'm really very busy. And uh, when I saw already you shared with me all the, the article which was already published, and uh, which so it means that not many people uh, have this ability, uh, which so which is. Uh, talking about intelligence and a level of high understanding and empathy for, for the people. Uh, so, and today I'm here just to thank you all you both. I wanted only to join you to be here present and now I want to listen further, so to you both. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Dia. I will uh, once again thank you so much for both of, both of my heart to Miss Veronica too, who has given again a golden nugget. Although she has given me a lot, but I am so thankful to her today. And of course, my lovely thanks to all the viewers who are watching us today, Facebook Live, our lovely audience, who are keep us motivating in our Facebook, in our LinkedIn page. Keep loving us, keep motivating us, and stay tuned for another talk show, which is going to come in next to days, few days, you can say. So the wait is not yet over. Stay tuned on. Till then, stay happy, hail, and hearty. Love you all. Thank you. Have a nice afternoon.